Great, thanks, Steve. Um, yeah, that echoes Steve's comments there. It's highly um, interesting and successful panel. Uh, so we'll move on to uh, panel six. Uh, and the chair for this panel is Professor Kate Moran. So Kate is the president and chief executive of Ocean Networks Canada. From 2009 to 2011, Kate was seconded to the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy Group, where she served as an assistant director and focused on Arctic, polar, ocean, the deep water horizon oil spin, spill and climate policy issues. Kate is active in public outreach on topics related to the Arctic, ocean observing and climate change. Kate co-led the Integrated Ocean Drilling Programme's Arctic Coring Expedition, which was the first deep water drilling operation in the Arctic Ocean. This expedition successfully recovered the first paleoclimate record from the Arctic Ocean. So over to you, Kate. Hey, well, well, thanks so much, Jill. Um, let me start off. This is panel six, and we're sharing experiences supporting the development of disaster risk reduction strategies, policies, <coughs> policies and programs, advancing building codes, <coughs> land use planning, and early warning systems. And I'll start by, we have four panelists, so I'll start by introducing them and then turn it over to the experts who know how to use the video over this extraordinary platform. <coughs> so first, um, to describe uh, Maria Prisluka. Uh, Maria is a, a chief specialist in geohazards and engineering geology, and she graduated in geodesy and cartography, where she specialized in photogrammetry and remote sensing at Warsaw University of Technology in Poland. She has been working at the Polish Geological Institute in the National Research Institute in, remote, in the remote sensing section, currently under the Geohazard Center Department where she conducts research on different types of geohazards using remote sensing and photogrammatic modern techniques. She's uh, completed her PhD degree and was awarded doctoral degree in 2017, where she worked on geostatistical analysis of the conditions of terrain surface subsidence identified using satellite interferom interferometry in the upper Silesian coal basin. The next speaker is John Macario Landano. He's a geologist with more than 34 years of experience in volcano and seismic monitoring, geological hazards and risk assessment. He's an expert in GIS systems applied to geological risk assessment. And he has been teaching geohazards and risk assessments at several universities in Colombia. He's an expert in seismic tomography and volcano seismology currently. He's the technical director of geohazards at the Columbia Geological Survey. Atale Ayala is professor of geophysics seismology, who was until recently director of the Institute of Geophysics, Space, Science and Astronomy of Addis Ababa University and currently heading the seismology unit. He is involved in teaching and advising postdoc students, coordinating and running the National Seismic Station Network of the country, data analysis and research. He coordinated and participated in several seismic experiments in Ethiopia, conducted in collaboration with overseas researchers in the last couple of decades. He was coordinator of the Sub-Saharan Africa Global Earthquake Model and founding president of the African Seismological Commission. He's a visiting fellow of Leeds and Bristol Universities, Professor Ayala is a fellow of the Ethiopian Science Academy. He is a 2021 international award recipient of the American Geophysical Union in recognition for making an outstanding achievement. And then finally, Andrew, uh, last but not least, Andrew Tupper, Dr. Tupper is a meteorologist with a focus on cross-disciplinary warning operations. His career began with the Australian Bureau of Meteorology, working in aviation forecasting, climate information, computing, and operations leadership in tropical meteorology. He then specialized in the science and operations of the International Airways Volcano Watch, the international system to keep aircraft passengers safe from volcanic clouds. During his career with the Australian government, Dr. Tupper was also the Bureau's Northern Territory Manager, the head of the National Operations Centre in Melbourne, where he was also the co-director of Australia's Joint Australian Tsunami Warning Centre and the Bureau State Manager for Victoria. 
He's managed many operational uh, tropical cyclone flood, severe thunderstorm, volcanic eruption, tsunami and bushfire events, as well as representing Australia in warning policy development and science advisory roles at the UN's International Civil Aviation Organization and the WMO. Since becoming an independent consultant in 2020, Dr. Tupper has mainly worked in multi-hazard early warning system projects. So welcome to this wonderful panel and I'll turn it over to the experts to begin the pre-recorded -pre presentations. <laughs> 